Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Ionic Tips Weekly, uh, the weekly show where we take a look at one small tip each week to try to become better Ionic developers. Uh, for this week I wanted to have a look at uh, the difference between uh, relative and absolute positioning and I guess a little trick we can use to help position things uh, using some knowledge about that. And so the example I'm using here is from a tutorial I released uh, last week. Uh, it was just about creating a simple sort of like animation. Uh, you can see here when I click the heart, it kind of animates a little bit as it changes rather than just flicking on and off. Uh, I'll link to the tutorial if you want to check that out, but uh, that's kind of beside the point for this video. Uh, what I want to do with this heart icon and what I did in the tutorial itself is we want that to be positioned over the top of this image just in the corner there rather than sitting in its own little space uh, up above. And I've got two different examples here which uh, I'm using to illustrate a, a point later. Uh, but one of these is, this one is an ion card and this one is just a simple div uh, with an image in it. And so before we get started it can be useful to actually uh, outline uh, all the elements on the page so that we can see uh, how things are working and I'll be able to better explain uh, some things. So if under the uh, the star selector here, which will just select every single uh, element in your page, if we assign that an outline property, and we'll just outline everything in uh, red, and now we can see the bounding box of every element on the page, uh, which can help visualize things a little bit. So by default, everything uh, on the page, all the elements have a position property of static, uh, which basically just means they're going to flow on the page uh, like normal. Uh, but if we manually change the position property of slant to uh, relative, it's going to move that element uh, relative to where it's supposed to be. So just to demonstrate that, I'll move this um, uh, heart here. So if I change the position of that to relative, uh, you can see just by assigning it a position of relative, that doesn't do anything. Uh, it just stays the same. But if I now say top 10 pixels, that's going to move that element 10 pixels down from where it's supposed to be. And we can also use left, right, uh, and bottom as well. So if I say uh, left 50 pixels, that's going to shift it uh, 50 pixels left of where it's supposed to be. So relative positioning will position something relative to itself, where it's supposed to be. Uh, but absolute positioning positions something relative to something else on the page. So let's just change this to absolute and see what happens. So now you can see it's a little bit uh, different. First of all, we lost that uh, that space we had. If I just quickly flick back to relative, you can see we have this uh, white block at the top of the screen there. But when I change that to absolute, uh, that goes away. Uh, it's because things that are positioned absolutely get removed from the, the flow of elements on the screen. So they're kind of just floating above everything now. And the element is no longer positioned relative to where it was supposed to be. Uh, it's positioned 10 pixels uh, down and 50 pixels left from something else on the screen. And that's what we're going to discuss now. So what happens basically is that when you uh, position something absolutely, it is going to position itself relative to uh, its nearest parent that is also that also has a relative or absolute positioning. Uh, so that probably sounds a little bit confusing. Uh, so often what will happen when you position something absolutely is that it'll be positioned uh, relative to the entire page itself. So if I was to give something a uh, position of say, an absolute position of say, uh, top zero, right zero, it'd go all the way to the top corner of the page. Uh, but that's not always what will happen. So let's take this uh, heart here in the ion card, for example. So if I change the position of this to absolute, Again, we get that white space gone because it's removed from the flow of elements on the page. And if I say uh, right, uh, we'll go five pixels and top five pixels as well. And you can see that right now it's positioned pretty much exactly in the spot where we wanted it uh, to be. It's positioned just uh, in the top right hand corner of this card here, uh, which is where we want the like button to be. So let's try the same thing with this uh, top one here, the one that is just in a div, not in an ion card. So we'll scroll up to that, select the like button again, and we'll just change that uh, the values there to five pixels and five pixels again. 
and we'll make that right, not uh, left. Uh, so as you can see, uh, it's still in the sort of top right hand uh, position, but it's positioned a little differently uh, to this one. And just to help illustrate this point more, I'm actually going to come into the template here and I'm going to do uh, two of these. So I've lost that styling now since I refreshed the page. So uh, let me just um, add that back in. And I'm also going to do the same for this one. I'm going to add in a second ion card as well. Okay, so I'm just going to add a new style just specifically for app animated like. So this is going to hit uh, everything. So I'll set that position to absolute. I spelt that wrong. And we'll do uh, top five pixels and uh, right five pixels. Okay, so if we take a look now, we can see, if we take a look at the ion card, we can see that the heart is positioned in the top right for each of the cards. Uh, but for the divs with the images here, we have uh, a heart that's in the top right position that's not sitting on top of the, the image here, and so just right in the top right hand corner. And for the second card, or the second div rather, uh, the heart's gone completely. And that's because both of the, uh, the heart icons for these divs here are overlapping each other in the top right hand corner. Uh, unlike the cards where they're sitting where they're supposed to be in each separate card. And this gets down to the key point I'm trying to make here. And that is that if we take a look at the styling of the ion card here, now this is just the default styling for an ion card. I didn't put this here, uh, but you can see it has a position of relative by default. So that means since our uh, like button is inside of this ion card and the ion card has a position of relative, if we give our, our like button a position of absolute, it's going to position it relative to the ion card, its parent, because that's the closest parent that has either relative or absolute positioning. If I were to get rid of this um, our relative position, I'll just delete that. You can see that the hearts uh, disappear completely, and that's because they've moved up into this top right hand corner as well. And the reason they're moving to the top right uh, corner here rather than right at the top of the page is that the ion content that all of this is living in uh, also has, uh, I believe, relative uh, positioning. So I've just got the ion content selected there. I'll search for position. And you can see we have that relative positioning there. So if you are trying to put a button inside of an uh, ion card, like a like button like this, you can position it absolutely. And it's going to be positioned relative to its parent ion card. Uh, but if you are trying to just use a div or whatever else that doesn't have that positioning, all we need to do is just add relative positioning to the parent component that we're trying to position relative to. So I have uh, my two divs here and here. So if I just add uh, relative positioning to both of those, I'll say position relative. And for this one as well, you can now see that uh, the hearts are being placed next to the div uh, itself, both individual divs rather than just floating, uh, being positioned to the top right of the entire ion content area. Now, as you can see, the heart still isn't sitting quite over the image there. And I think that's just because uh, the image isn't quite uh, big enough to fill up the whole space there. So let's just test that. And you can see now that uh, now the image takes up the whole space. Of course, we've lost our uh, heart icon again, we've lost the styling on that. So uh, let's just quickly do that again, just to double check that everything is working as it should. So we'll say position absolute top five pixels, right five pixels. And then we just need to add that uh, relative styling to the parent. So we'll say position relative. And there we go. Now we have it sitting in the top right, just like it was with the ion cards. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tip for this week. Uh, this is a weekly show, so if you'd like to see more of these, uh, feel free to subscribe. I also have uh, my Twitter and stuff like that in the description as well if you'd like to check that out. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.